on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Trying to get a certain type of guy that's winning to her. I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's winning. I'm saying to the woman. So, yeah. Yeah, I just meant like when we frame it like that, when even when we're talking about it as if um, we're acknowledging that they're winning, it kind of um, perpetuates the notion that even as women, we we in some way, shape or form look at the type of men that go for that as the ideal. That was just my point. Not not to personally, you know, against what you said, but. Uh, I, I, maybe you just misunderstood the way I worded it, but it's okay. No, it's not winning for, it's winning for attention. And it's winning for attention to be these influencers. That's right. why I agree with you, Taylor. That's the only part I agree with them. They do this to be these Instagram influencers. Because mm -hmm. if you look at their Instagram page, I mean, hell, I mean, I don't know. They might as well sell back scratchers because all you see is their back. I have a, I, can I I ask a question. Do you guys think that women get BBLs to get like attention from men? Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's interesting that women will go get surgery before they take like a cooking class or try to do something we'll outside out. of like sexuality. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you could cook and still have that BBL and now they'll that. bring them up in the ranks. Yeah, but what, what percent of like city girls like are really cooking? Like, you know. I don't know. <laughs> like, I know a lot on. of girls that I know cook. Even the ones that get the BBL, they're cooking. Okay, maybe. No, they no, they twerking. You know this. They twerking in the kitchen and cooking. I was like, why can't you do that? So <laughs> not, not oh, even yeah. shit. Right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Bad. Yeah, I think I, I deal with more city girls than anyone on this panel with the amount of people I talk to in this in a week. Why do I'm you like you do... surround yourself with those type of people? Um, <laughs> because I do a live show four times a week. But why do you We're, bring on those type of people? They make what good TV. Your, what is your um? They make so you're doing TV. it for entertainment. Yeah. So that's your that's it's your whole, like, it's an entertaining show. Yeah. Okay. So when you talk yeah. about black issues, it's more so for entertainment. Um, I don't talk about black issues. I talk but you about most of your panelists are black. Um, sometimes, sometimes not. Most depends of them on the are, show. Though, from what I've seen. Um, it depends on the show. I don't do the recruiting actually. But you allow it, you approve it, right? No, I don't know who's coming. You don't right. know who's coming to your own show? Okay. All right, let me chime no. in. All right, we got to right, right. keep it moving. Got to keep okay. it moving, y'all. Come on. All right. So, are BBLs going out of style? <clears throat> yes, it's going out of style. I think most of the women that got, you know, got it when it came into style are slowly starting to grow old and phase out of their prime. I mean, the young girls coming into fashion and into the dating realm are starting to see the backlash on social media and see how, you know, the musical, musical idols that were once gorgeous and someone, you know, looked up to are becoming atrocious. So, you know, this has led up to mentality change when it comes to beauty. Like little Baby, you know, said, and I, you know, I was once, I once had a thing for thick video vixens, you know, back whenever in the 90s and stuff, uh, King Magazine and all that stuff. So now Slim is in, you know, because they took a, you know, they, they took thick too damn far, basically. And in result, the gym body is taking the throne. So I say it's phasing out, man. People starting to wake up. Okay. Let me go to K Coach K. What are your thoughts about it? Are BBLs going out of style? Um, in my opinion, I don't know why they were ever in style. Um, I don't think they looked good. I'm into fitness, and there was no hamstrings, no um, hamstring glute tie-in. So it just looked off to me but i don't know as far as numbers and things like that but i think they should i've heard they're really dangerous too so i think they should go out of style all right carmen what are your thoughts about it are bbls going out of style um as far as like what people are saying with regard to it becoming like saturated so normalized so not as unique and um maybe intriguing probably but going out of style in the sense of that women will stop getting them anytime soon i don't think so um i think that because there is a perception in mass of so much almost guaranteed attention from women that present themselves that way um and again not through natural like fitness and natural body um maximizing through 
working out and things like that. I don't think that women are going to stop getting them because there's just still so much attention driving towards that visual, even if it is, um, you know, just the masses that maybe aren't, it's not the validation. So one thing I was going to say too, is I think that what we should think about a lot of times is what, what kind of attention those women want, right? So those women obviously internally aren't looking or understanding the type of validation maybe that they're craving because they're, they're, literally chopping themselves up to create a visual for some perceived attention. And it's like, you know, so does that the kind of man that you want? Is that the kind of attention you want? Is that the kind of um, scenario you want to create for yourself? And I, I think that too many women do. They want that kind of attention. They want the mass attention. They want the superficial attention. They want the um, constant flow to feed from and you get a lot of that from presenting yourself that way so i don't think that it's going to go out of style in practice anytime soon no you muted you muted i'm sorry curse for life our bbl is going out of style um i i i think they are going out of style um they should go out of style just because everybody can't have a big butt, but unfortunately a lot of women are trying to fit a specific aesthetic and they're trying to get these rich men. They're trying to bag the, you know, they're trying to, they see what they see on social media in the music videos. And it's like a cookie cutter type chick. They all got the same looks. They, they got the same lips, the same boobs, the same butt. And they're just trying to pull a specific type of guy, but not everybody can win. You know what I mean? And, I, you know, I just think but that is we're that all winning? different. Huh? Like, is that winning? You know what I mean? I think, I think sometimes when we talk about it like when that, I say winning, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking in, I'm speaking in regards to a woman trying to get a certain type of guy that's winning to her. I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's winning. I'm saying to the woman. So, yeah. Yeah. I just meant like when we frame it like that, when, even when we're talking about it as if, um, we're acknowledging that they're winning. It kind of um, perpetuates the notion that even as women, we we in some way, shape, or form look at the type of men that go for that as the ideal. That was just my point. Not not to personally, you know, against what you said, but uh, I, I, maybe you just yeah. misunderstood the way I worded it. But it's okay. No, it's not winning for. It's winning for attention. And it's winning for attention to be these influencers. That's right. why I agree with you, Taylor. That's the only part I agree with them. They do this to be these Instagram influencers. Because mm -hmm. if you look at their Instagram page, I mean, hell, I mean, I don't know. They might as well sell back scratchers. Because all you see is their back. 